Okay, I wanted to talk about my opinion about black conservatives being fake black people. Now, the first thing I want to say is I'm not talking about all black conservatives because there's a huge difference between being politically conservative and socially conservative. I'm mostly only against these political black conservatives. Political black conservatives like Clarence Thomas, Herman Cain, Alan Keyes, Larry Elder, Alan West, these are the these are the self-loathing black sellouts that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. The definition of a fake black sellout is a person that hates against their own black race. A person that that despises their own black race and wishes they were white. You take you take Larry Elder for example. Larry Elder has written books calling black people stupid. Larry Elder has written books calling black people immoral scum. Larry Elder is a self-loathing black person. He's a self-hating black person. And that's the definition of a fake black sellout. You take a person like Clarence Thomas. Over the last 20 years, Clarence Thomas has voted against every black issue on the Supreme Court. Clarence Thomas voted against black voter, voter rights. Clarence Thomas voted against affirmative action. Clarence Thomas voted against black union rights. Clarence Thomas, he's basically a white supremacist with a black face. He's white on the inside and he's black on the outside. Clarence Thomas is the biggest self-hating Uncle Tom in the history of this country, in my personal opinion. And a lot of these white supremacists absolutely love Clarence Thomas. They love a black person that hates against his own black race. And this is the reason why a lot of white power conservatives absolutely love Herman Cain. They love a black person that hates against his own black race. Herman Cain has called black people brainwashed plantation slaves. Herman Cain has called black people, he called black union workers anti-Americans for protesting against Wall Street. Herman Cain is paid and funded by the Koch brothers. And this is the reason why a lot of white power conservatives absolutely love Herman Cain. They love using these fake black sellouts against black people. They, they love using him because they can use him as a token. Herman Cain also defends and worships white supremacists like Neil Boots and Rush Limbaugh. Neil Boots called Katrina victims immoral scum. And Herman Cain defends and worships Neil Boots. That's how insane Herman Cain is. And a lot of white people who love Herman Cain, you don't realize how much, you don't understand black pride. The main reason why mo most black people are against Herman Cain is because he has no black pride. He has no black pride for his black men. Now any black man in their right mind would defend and worship a white supremacist like Neil Boots and Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck is a self-loving fake black sellout. And this is the problem I have with Herman Cain. He will say anything against his own black people to satisfy the Koch brothers, to satisfy these white supremacists in the Tea Party, to satisfy Fox News. And this is the problem that most black people have against Herman Cain. This is the reason why most black people don't support Herman Cain. And a lot of these white rednecks who absolutely love Herman Cain, you don't understand. You don't even understand the self, the self hating that this man has in his heart. He has no black pride for his community. He has no black pride for himself. And this is the reason why most black people are against this fake black sellout, Herman Cain. Now you take a person like Alan West, for example. Now, Helen West, 
is another self-loathing black person. He hates against his own black race. Every chance that he gets when he goes on Fox News, he always attacks his own black race. And he'll defend, he'll always defend white supremacy. He'll always defend these white conservatives. And this is the problem I have with Alan West, Clarence Thomas, Herman Cain. This is the problem I have with people, with the right wing extremists that are black people. Now there's a huge difference between being a moderate Republican and being a right wing conservative Republican. I don't have anything against a black person being Republican. As long as they have black pride for their community, as long as they're not self self-loathing. I have the deepest respect for a respectful, moderate Republican like Colin Powell. I have the deepest respect for a respectable, moderate Republican like Michael Steele. Because these two men have black pride. I've seen I've seen Michael Steele speak to black people. I speak I see him speak to younger black youth to teach them to do better with their personal lives. I've seen Colin Powell go to black communities and help his own people. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, black pride. There's nothing wrong with being a black Republican as long as you have black pride. As long as you don't ever lose your black pride. The biggest problem that I have with people like Herman Cain is that he has no black pride. He has no black self-respect for himself or his black community. I've never even seen Herman Cain speak to a black audience. All the audience that Herman Cain speaks to are white power conservatives who are just using him as a token candidate to attack to attack black people. And they're only using him for this reason. The Koch brothers are funded are funding Herman Cain's campaign. Fox News is funding Herman Cain's campaign. And they're just using him as a paid token. And this is the reason why people like Herman Cain, Alan West, these are the reason why they're fake black sellers. And this is the reason why I call them fake black people.